<laughs> Come here. Oh. Oh, you want to get up here? Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Come on. You want to help? You I, need to run in. Oh, there oh. you go. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the Hideaway Homestead. I'm Mike, and this is Vanessa, Hi. my wife. And this is Jasmine. <laughs> and today we are gonna be continuing work on our reclaimed lumber chicken coop. Since last week's episode, I went through and finished out the back, kind of did it off camera, um, nothing exciting. We were just <laughs> cutting some more slats and putting them up. But um, this week we're going to get the door finished uh, for the front, uh, hopefully today. <laughs> so, uh, Vanessa, what are you gonna be working on today? Um, I'm going to be taking the angle grinder with a cutting wheel for metal, and we're gonna be cutting some strips of hardware cloth to go over top of all these openings from the inside. We'll staple those up, and that'll give us some good ventilation for the chickens to keep everything smelling nice on the inside. Yeah, and the ventilation's pretty important. If you haven't owned chickens before, they can create a lot of ammonia um, from their uh, poop. And so we're gonna try to do the deep uh, litter method. So what that means is we're gonna ultimately just keep adding bedding so that we only have to clean the coop out uh, once or twice a year, probably twice a year. Um, but to your point, yeah, it's gonna allow some better ventilation. We're, we're probably gonna cut out and put some ventilation in here too. Um, yeah, we want to add like um, probably like a window in so that they can get some morning sunlight so they know, hey, it's time to get up, lay some eggs, go out and forage. Yep. So if you're new to the show, uh, please click subscribe. Um, that really helps support us here on the homestead. We come out with new episodes every Thursday and um, we're, all, we're all over social media. So we're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. And if you like the content, um, feel free to hit like, and we'd, we'd love it if you shared it with your friends and family. <laughs> so we are going to get started. What are you doing? What you doing? Are you being a good girl? Huh? So we've got some quarter inch hardware cloth here. Uh, we picked it up at the local hardware store. There's different sizes that you can get. Uh, this is the smallest uh, squares that you can uh, normally find. So like I said, this is the quarter inch. There's other sizes that you can get, uh, but we wanted to go with the quarter inch to keep any kind of animals out. And we'll be stapling this from the inside of the coop for the venting. And then that way, um, things like raccoons and uh, foxes and stuff shouldn't be able to get in. They shouldn't be able to get the staples loose with them being done from the inside. And then we'll probably be using hardware cloth later to do our chicken run. Foxes are not gonna climb to the top of the chicken coop. <laughs> Well, you can just leave that in, that boxes aren't going to do that, that I wasn't wrong. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and see how much uh, width we need for the gap. And we want to make it a little bit bigger so that we can kind of fold it over here and over here when we staple it up. Um, but the gap itself is probably about four and a half inches. Yeah, so... If it's four and a half inches, we'll probably add another inch or two onto each side of that. So maybe about seven inches. So we're just gonna unroll this uh, using our gloves because it can be pretty sharp on the edges. And we're gonna mark off the length that we wanna use for the front venting. Probably all the way over, yeah? Okay. 
gonna put these boards down to keep it from unraveling on us. So I have my safety equipment on and I have the angle grinder here with the cutoff wheel. And you always wanna keep a firm grip on this and it'll only run if you have the button pushed. And you're just gonna run it along the wire to cut it. If you're not comfortable with this, you can certainly just clip it. Um, but we have the angle grinder here, so why not make short work of it? So we've started stapling our strip up here to the ceiling and to the wall and to the sides of the beams. And now we're coming to our first beam and we need to kind of cut along down to the last few squares so we can fold that over on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So if some of your staples are stuck out like mine are, you can just hammer them in, it's no big deal. Okay, so while Vanessa's continuing to work on putting the hardware cloth up on the top of the coop, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the door. And so there's a couple of things that I need to do. First, I'm gonna use some of this uh, pallet wood to actually frame behind the door so that the door itself has something that it can stop on. So essentially on the inside of the door frame on this direction I'm gonna uh, screw this piece in and I'll do it on both sides. Um, otherwise when we go to close the door it actually uh, won't, won't have anything to stop up against. So I got two of those so I can do that. I'm gonna to have to build the frame for the long part of the sides of the door. To do that, we don't have anything long enough in the pallet wood. So I went back to my last two pieces of two by four from an old workbench that I had put together. It has a couple of screw holes in it from where I'd worked on it before, but it'll actually make a decent frame for the side of the door uh, on each end. So I've got two, two of those pieces um, and I really can't afford to mess up on those cuts because if I do, I'm out, uh, you know, if I take too much off. So I'm gonna have to make sure I'm careful about how I'm, how I'm doing this. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these pieces as well to do as cross beams. Um, and I may just do one cross beam in the middle between those two by fours. And what that'll do is that'll allow us to take some more of the pallet slats and kind of do a um, vertical uh, arrangement on the front door. And then I can put some trim on the door to make it look nice. That kind of gets us the door ready. There's gonna be some hardware that we're gonna have to put on there. Um, at our old house, we actually had some of these old tension rods and so what we'll do is we'll take these and put them at an angle on the inside of the door in both directions. You can use that to keep the door square so it doesn't expand and retract uh, when it gets hot and cold out, making your door kind of go out of um, plumb with the rest of the door frame. There's gonna be a little bit of work here. Uh, it's a little more complicated, you know. You don't actually have to use these. Uh, you could actually get a piece of the pallet wood some of the thicker pallet wood and you could actually cut 
kind of uh, almost like a batten door or uh, like what you would see on a barn door. Kind of cut it at an angle and screw it in. That'll keep your door uh, in alignment too. It'll keep it plumb. So here we go. Found a four leaf clover over here by the coop, so that's kind of cool. Well, everybody, that's a wrap for the day. Um, as you can see, it's getting kind of dark out, which makes it uh, not safe if we were to keep working. So um, you can see that we got the door uh, mostly done. I actually uh, just have to put the hardware on there now, and then we should be good to go. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, it was a little bit of work getting there. Like I said, the uh, um, we had some trouble getting it kind of framed in, um, but I think you're going to end up dealing with that when you deal with uh, reclaimed lumber.
Yeah, and we finished all the venting except for the corners. So we'll have to come in and finish that up and then we may go in and cut some like little window areas out to add some additional venting because it was getting pretty warm in there today. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a wrap. If you like the series and you're still interested in catching uh, all the way to the finale, uh, click on subscribe and hit the little bell. Um, you'll get notifications every time that we post a new video, and we normally do on Thursdays. That's our scheduled day to do videos for the homestead. Um, and if you like the content, definitely click like. That helps us out, and we would really love it if you shared it uh, with your friends and family or anybody else you know that's interested in homesteading. So we are going to skedaddle out of here because it is getting super dark now. Um, and, you know, as usual... Try to make time for dirt time. See ya. <laughs>